Hi Cancer, welcome to January 2019 and Happy New Year! Woohoo! It's the new year and boy is it! We go right into January and we are in eclipse season and your, the moon is your avatar and no one feels eclipses more than you do. So get ready, buckle your seatbelt, here we go! <laughs> and what's really cool about 2019 and these first few months is you're setting the foundation for the next 20 years of your life and this is a really important time. Now the North Node is in Cancer. That's you. It's all about you. And so if you're wondering, gee, what should I be doing in January or what should I be doing at this incredible Capricorn solar eclipse, the universe wants you to make a commitment to you. The North Node is in you. <laughs> Cancer. So if you're wondering like, okay, and the North Node is the direction life we're going. What should I be doing? Where should I be going? You. It's all about you. Now, there's going to be a lot of noise in here where other people are pulling at you for their attention, to get your attention for them, and that's because the Capricorn uh, solar eclipse, which is a new moon, on the 5th and 6th of January takes place in the area of relationships and partnerships, which is very significant. However, the North Node is in Cancer, and what's going to be brought up for you is these old karmic patterns of you putting yourself last, putting others first, taking care of others, and then finally getting to yourself. That's not going to work here in 2019. Well, it's not going to work well for you. And we want you happy and successful. So, with this very big focus in Capricorn, Saturn examines and tests everything he touches. He is the one that brings you to what you want. He makes us work for it. He makes us you know, do everything necessary to get it. But he is the one that delivers to you what you really want. Right now, he's really working over relationships. He's working, and that's just not romantic or marriage. It's all relationships. And, you know, he's working it over with you. And, you know, it, it, it's not about you um, ignoring tolerations, what you've been tolerating, what you've been putting up with. Because it will be intolerable for you to do that here in January is to put other people first and put you last. It's not going to work. And yes, there's going to be a lot of turbulence going on with other people, but that's not your responsibility. I mean, unless you're taking care of an infant or little kids, which they can't take care of themselves. So as a mom, we have to take care of them. Or a dad, we've got to take care of them. But other adults, these eclipses are waking us all up. And we're all on this new path here in January. And we're setting the tone or the foundation for the next 20 years. And so we're being initiated by Saturn and Pluto. And when Saturn is initiating you, it is about self-mastery. And we can't develop mastery if, we, if our mummy <laughs> takes care of us and intervenes and doesn't let us have our tests. And, and I know that's hard to do. I'm a mom. I definitely don't like my daughter, you know, uh, going through things and that I, I don't want her to go through. <laughs> and, you know, I get it. I get it. However, the North Node is in Cancer. And if you're wondering, like, oh, what does the universe want for me to do? What is the cosmic message? The message is stay true to you. And that without self-love, we really don't have anything to give other people. Self-love versus the love of other people, you got to go for self-love this month. This is about you making you 
number one in your life, North Node in Cancer. This is about you putting you number one on your priority list. What's my number one priority? Me! <laughs> and then the universe is like, yay, Cancer is getting it. They're getting it. Yes. And so, yes, there's going to be a lot of turbulence going on because this is a poop storm that's about to happen with this uh, Capricorn, come to Jesus, solar eclipse, where we're all being activated. We all have this eclipse somewhere in our life, somewhere in our chart. So nobody, <laughs> nobody escapes Saturn. And, and so you want to be thinking about, okay, it's a test here for me. Am I going to put other people first like I always do? Oh, if I do that, then I'm in my old karmic patterns. Ooh, I'm sabotaging myself. And I'm not getting my needs met. And I'm not taking care of me. And that's not the best strategy at all. And Capricorn Saturn is all about strategy. What is my strategy? So it is about you filling your cup first. And then once your cup is full, then you can go over and maybe fill some other cups if you feel so inclined to do that. Now, I know for many of you, you are going to feel inclined to take the, the road less traveled or take the path of least resistance, where you just want to pull in, right? Pull into the shell, you know, the crab. They pull inside, right? Go sideways down the beach. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. I don't like conflict. That's okay. I get it. Do it. Pull in, go sideways down the beach. Pull in, but do it in a way where you're taking care of you. You're making you number one. I call it healthy selfishness. When you do what's right for you, it's right for everyone else. When you're not doing what's right for you, it's not right for them either because they can't line up with you because you're not doing what's right for you. But if you're doing what's right for you, then we can line up with you. And you bring more to the table because you're taking care of you. You're loving on you. And that's the message for you, Cancer, here in January, is the universe wants you to have a love affair with you, to be loving on you and taking care of you. And let go of that need to fix, save, and rescue your children, your partner, your family, your coworkers, <laughs> and so on. We love that you want to nurture us. We love... Cancers are the best cooks. They are so good at helping others. But the North Node is in Cancer, not Capricorn. The North Node is in Cancer, which means it's all about you and doing all that self-love for you and then being available for others after you've taken really good care of you and what you need to feel great and what you need to be happy and this is going to be a wild you know because the Sun well the moon too the moon already passed over Saturn and then it's going to run right into Pluto and then it's going to oppose Uranus and so you know it's it's turbulent and you know it's a bumpy ride you know when you get on a plane and you go through those air pockets and you get some turbulence and woo well you just keep that seat belt on you stay in your seat and then you get to smoother um, airways, pathways, which is what it's all about. Now, another cool thing that's happening here this month is Uranus moves direct on the 7th of January. And that means all the planets are direct January 7th through March 6th when Mercury will take his turn to retrograde. So it is a nice time to... Um, launch something new, begin something new over the next few months. You don't have to in January. I, I don't think it's a great time to launch something new on eclipses because everyone's eclipsed. And so if we're all eclipsed, you know, I like to wait uh, you know, until later in the month or February. And you know, for you, the message in here really is to stick with the tried and true in January. It's not about like, oh, I'm going to try something new now because we're at a new Capricorn um, eclipse. No, not for you. For you, stick to the tried and true. Stick to what works for you. And then later on you can experiment with new uh, pathways, new, new, new ways of doing things.
And also make sure you don't hide in your work this month. It's about life-work balance. Taking care of you, loving on you, and then doing the work. But not just work and work and work and work and work and and work and work and work and work and at the expense of you. And, you know, because the Capricorn energy can have us very driven, very motivated to achieve, to conquer, to climb that mountain. However, for you, it is about nourishment and nurturing you and loving on you and being very present with you and not being in a hurry to uh, jump into things. Really taking your time this month. And don't let people pull you into their drama. Just like, I have full faith that you can work this out. Totally believe in your skills and abilities to work this out. And that tiptoe away. <laughs> and go to your play zone and have fun. Now, there's a weird energy in here with Jupiter and Neptune. It goes exact on the 13th of January. That'll come back on June 16th, and that'll come back September 21st. That's because Neptune is in its own strong sign, Pisces, which is very favorable for you, and Jupiter has entered into Sagittarius, its own sign, and now they're challenging each other. So we want to watch for overextending ourselves, especially for you, and this is in regards to work is to, you know, be practical, do the tried and true, don't get all experimental like, oh, well, maybe if we put balloons on this and then float it away. <laughs> it was like, no, if something works, stick to it. Don't, don't get caught in the over-optimistic energy of this Jupiter-challenging Neptune kind of uh, and we'll see it in the stock market where people will be just like, oh, it's going up, 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 I'll buy, buy, buy. Or, oh my gosh, the sky is falling, I better sell, sell, sell. You know, so you can get hysterical with this energy. And um, that's why if you're just sticking with the tried and true, I'm going to do what always works. It works. We're going to continue to do it. Then the sun will square Uranus on the 18th. And... Then the sun enters Aquarius on the 20th. And then the 21st, we have the Leo lunar eclipse. It's the total eclipse. It's the last one. And, you know, this is another message from the universe to do what's right for you, to do what works for you, to do what you want. Because that Leo eclipse is going to be bringing that to your attention. What is it that I really want? What is it that I want in my life? Are my steps, my action steps, the things I do every day, bringing me to what I want? If not, then think about that. If we say we want something, but we're doing something else, that's a contradiction. And that will be brought to your attention here in January with the Capricorn solar eclipse and now the total lunar eclipse in Leo, and you're definitely going to feel that one too because you're ruled by the moon. And for you, Leo rules what you love and value. It rules your money. It rules your resources, your self-worth, your self-respect, your possessions, your earning ability. And this is a really interesting full moon because it's right at the beginning of Leo, just like yours was in December, zero degrees, Cancer and Gemini full moon in November, another signal from the universe that we're at the beginning of something, we're at the beginning of this new journey, we're at the beginning of this new life path. And it's being squared by Uranus and Aries right at the end, it's at 29 degrees, and Pallas Athena and Libra at 28 degrees, almost 29 degrees Libra. And so they're forming this grand square. Now, Pallas Athena is the master strategist. She is a supreme military general. And she's wise. And she is all about making wise strategies. So this is about, you know, having a wise strategy for yourself in your relationships, 
But the biggest relationship you're having is with you. Loving on you is what the universe wants for cancer this month. And that is the wisest strategy for you. And this is going to be a surprising one too. Like the Capricorn new moon eclipse, this full moon eclipse in Leo with Uranus in there with the wild card. You know, anything can happen. You know, and for some of you, maybe you do want to uh, move out of a relationship. Maybe there's a relationship you're ready to move out of. Maybe you're ready to start a new relationship. However, all of that is secondary to the relationship you're having with you. And, it, it, you know, Saturn in that area of relationship doesn't want you to step in over or tolerating any kind of disrespect or abuse that comes from any relationship that you're in. And these eclipses can complete things where, you know, do I really want to bring this person along for the next 20 years? Do I really want to be in this same situation, you know, for the rest of this year and maybe the next 20 years? Do I really want that? And this is, you know, really important that you're evaluating all of your relationships, your relationship with self, your relationship with creator, your relationship with your environment, your relationship with your family, your relationship with your partner, your relationship with your colleagues, your relationship with your clients, customers, patients, whoever you work with. And how are those relationships feeding you? How are those relationships supporting you? If they're not, then, you know, the eclipses can be ending things in this area for you, which is a blessing because it's the hand of God. Eclipses are destiny, and events that happen around eclipses are fate. And so if something begins or something completes, that's destiny. That, that's out of our hands. It's what's meant to be. And you don't want to walk away from yourself to cling on or hang on to someone or something that's no longer serving you because then you're not following your north node, which is in, that's right, cancer. <laughs> and so it's very important that you're being true to yourself and using wise strategy in here to follow your path, do what's right for you, Yes, show up in relationship with the heart, you know, being open, but not making them more important than you, not making the relationship more important you, than you. Because it's not. There's no one more important than you, than you. Without you, there's no conversation. And that's the test here for you, is doing what works for you making you your number one priority, making that commitment to you, making the commitment that you need to make for yourself so that you're staying true to yourself here in this new year and setting the tone and the foundation for the next 20 years because these are part of very larger cycles. This Jupiter going into Capricorn at the end of the year joining up with Saturn and Pluto and Mars too, all joining up with them in uh, January, February of 2020 is very significant and it's happening now of what will take place in your life and, and the test is the love for you and taking care of you and not putting other people first. So, you know, it, it's, it's about having a love affair with you this month. It's about you having a great relationship with you. And if you could do that in January and you start building this new pattern of, of self-love and self-appreciation and self-respect and putting yourself first, then that's going to make this year very successful for you and more flowing. So don't get pulled into other people's stuff and what other people need because they're going through such turbulence with these eclipses. We're all going through it and we all are being initiated and 
It's all about developing self-mastery. For those of you coupled, you know, this is an opportunity to really look at the value of the relationship and how that relationship is working for you now and are there changes that need to be made to improve that relationship and, and where is that relationship taking you? Because it, it's all about what supports you and nurtures you and that is not just you supporting the partner and being there for the partner, it's about you being there for you and loving you. And how does the partner fit into that? Does the partner love and respect you and support you in, in the way that works for you? I'm not seeing any challenges to the money. In fact, there could even be a surprise financial benefit coming for you around the Leo lunar eclipse uh, in regards to your work and your job. And it could be, uh, you know, could be a promotion. It could be where work is going better because you're doing the tried and true. You're just doing what you're really good at and taking care of business and the money is flowing. And you, you know, be aware, you know, career looks really good. You know, you've got Mars up there. So, you know, you, there could be a tendency where you hide in work to avoid yourself. You're like, well, I'm just going to work on work. <laughs> and that's not the message in here this month. The message is to make the commitment to you. It's about self-love. So being there for you. So yes, work is going well, but you don't want to avoid the confrontation with you that is happening here in January because you're so busy at work. Because I could see you doing, some of you doing that where you're really busy at what you're doing. And it's going good. So it's like, oh, I'll just hang out over here. <laughs> no, it's all about you. Spiritually, take that time with God. Take that time to meditate. Take that time to listen. Take that time to tune into what's right for you and how you can take better care of you. Maybe get a massage, you know, do, do nice things for you, a Reiki treatment, you know, whatever um, makes you feel better about yourself and nourishes you and nurtures you. That is a really good approach to take is, is doing lovely things for yourself that make you feel physically, emotionally, spiritually better. So thank you for listening. Thank you for liking, sharing my videos and favoring my videos. Ah, oh, you're so rocking awesome, Cancer. And thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps to support the channel and it lets you know when I upload. And I'm also getting ready to start my series, my webinar series, which will start at the end of January. You know, how to build a business you love and make your dreams come true. And if you want to be notified, it's very easy. You sign up for my free email. The link is below in the show more section. And you get these seven secrets for magic money making as your gift. So until next time, Cancer, it's all about you. Isn't that exciting? That's like so awesome. It's all about you.